This afternoon, King Charles is hosting a pre-conference reception at Buckingham Palace, despite not travelling to Egypt himself. And joining me now is GB News Royal Correspondent Cameron Walker, who is outside Buckingham Palace. Cameron, who exactly has the King invited to this reception? Hi, Arlene. Yes, well, the King left Buckingham Palace about 15 minutes ago. There were over 200 guests, actually, at this reception this afternoon, including the Prime Minister and Alok Sharma, who was the COP26 president. And then, of course, he will be handing the baton on in Egypt at the COP27 conference, which gets underway uh, very soon indeed. Now, the Prime Minister uh, delivered a speech within the ballroom of Buckingham Palace, where he paid tribute to His Majesty the King's long commitment to uh, climate change and fighting the climate crisis. It's been over 50 years where uh, the King, uh, as Prince of Wales, used his unique position to champion action on, sustain on a sustainable future. If you remember back at the COP26 co uh, conference in Glasgow, he used his speech to say we need to be on a war-like footing to tackle the climate crisis. Now, from my understanding, he was actually due to attend COP27 when he was Prince of Wales, but following Her Majesty the Queen's death and then, of course, him becoming king, it was, from my understanding and from speaking to people with inside Buckingham Palace, a unanimous decision between the palace and Liz Truss's government that it wouldn't be appropriate for the king to attend the COP27 conference in Egypt as his first overseas trip as our sovereign. Now, Buckingham Palace says the king's focus today was very much on this reception, which he hosted with, uh, with over 200 guests, hosting business leaders. He was hosting politicians, non-profit organisations as well, exploring ways that the, how the public and the private sector can work together to try and combat some of these climate issues. And that's actually, uh, he, he launched what's called the Sustainable Markets Initiative in 2020 when he was Prince of Wales, which was all about bringing the private sector and public sector together in order to combat the climate crisis. So that was very, very much a theme here this afternoon. Now, as we know, Rishi Sunak has done a bit of a U-turn. He originally wasn't going to be going to COP27. He now very much is. And a Downing Street spokesperson yesterday actually said that if Rishi Sunak had been in power uh, earlier, then it would have perhaps been feasible for the king to attend COP27 in Egypt. But the spokeswoman went on to say yesterday that it's just logistically not possible now for the king to attend at such short notice. Of course, Liz Truss, Liz Truss's government, as I said, uh, made a unanimous decision with the palace, which Buckingham Palace reiterated today, that the king would not be attending COP27. Now, Alex Sharma, as I said, was here. He'll be handing over his baton and Rishi Sunak delivered a speech and will be attending COP27 in Egypt, but as for the king, he has left Buckingham Palace this afternoon and will not be going to Egypt for the climate conference. And Cameron, um, environmental matters, sustainability uh, are obviously still very high on His Majesty the King's uh, agenda. He's just doing things now in a different way because he's now the sovereign. Uh, and, and surely that is to be respected by everyone. Oh, it certainly is. I think he's very much aware that now that he is king, he has to be very careful what he says in public, particularly around subjects such as climate change. But by hosting this reception here and bringing experts together in, in one room, perhaps he thought that it was a chance to create some kind of change, but allowing others to do it himself, uh, do it themselves even. And if you look at the king's son, the Prince of Wales, Prince William, he still very much is tackling the climate tr crisis sustainability, the illegal wildlife trade. He attended, uh, he, he attended um, a, a, a evening lot earlier this week, which was all about tackling the illegal wildlife trade with the, uh, the charity Tusk. He's got his Earthshot Prize in early December. Of course, the finalists of that Earthshot Prize, which is all about trying to find uh, ways in which to prepare, repair the planet over the next 10 years. Those finalists, which are all going to be receiving, well, the winners will be receiving a £1 million prize each in early December. That conference is going to be hosted in Boston in early December. So those finalists were announced today and the Prince of Wales and the Princess of Wales are going to be attending that. So climate change still an issue very much clearly important to the royal family.